Hi, I am Wendy Weir and I am with Libra Inner Peace. You may have known us in a prior life with the Libra Tea Glasses. And the Libra Tea Glasses, we've always advocated beautiful, peaceful tea moments. And so as we have um, currently shut down the tea glass business, we are very excited about inspiring inner peace, really. And I think that's where my real passion lies. And so I'm very excited to get going and um, be part of a force in the world that is bringing forward a want and an inspiration for inner peace. I was actually thinking that a nice line might be incite inner peace. So it sounds a little paradoxical, but it means to move, to make happen, to get going. And so I really think that all of us could use a bit of inner peace. And I think that it is a great attribute to really kind of reflect on a bit because we are so used to being really busy, busy, busy in our world. And uh, oftentimes with the busyness, you can't really get into the idea of, you know, how am I really doing? How, how am I settled? And it's not something that we naturally would do. And yet it is so important, and especially at this time where, I don't know about you, but the world seems to be getting a little crazier a little more excited, a little faster pace all the way around, like maybe much faster pace. So really what I wanted to do is to share today, and we're going to call this Surfing the Waves on uh, Wednesday, and really the waves of life. And, you know, we can look at this inner peace idea as, well, let's take a body of water, let's take a lake. And so, as you know, the weather on top of the lake, they can make ripples or can they make big rollers or they can make white caps and make it all quite like a frenzy. But no, um, that can be a place where we don't have to choose to live and keep our awareness. Oftentimes it's the first thing that gets our attention and so that is where we tend to live. And yet, there's another place that is down under the water, down under the waves. And if you really get settled and get settled and bring your awareness inside and let it settle, there is a deep calm and peace near the bottom of the ocean, near the bottom of the lake. And it's really under the waves. And the trick about this, I think, is that, you know, we can't really control the weather. The weather is going to be what it's going to be. And uh, oftentimes in my world, I found, well, it's going to be what it's going to be. I certainly don't have control over it. And always good to remember what I have control over, what I don't have control over. And so in not having control over the weather, that means we don't have much control over the waves and the size of the waves and when they're going to happen. And so that's why the wavier it gets, the more I bring my consciousness and my awareness to be able to sink down and underneath and know that I have that peaceful place and I can be connected to that peaceful place. So that is my wavy analogy. And I think, you know, as we surf the waves, you know, our head is, uh, with any luck at all, always going to remain above water. And so we, what we want to be able to do then is we want to understand if the head is above water, can we understand and be present with ourselves? And so as things are going on, how are we actually doing? I know that, uh, for instance, um, one of the challenges to being present, which I think is really the still point of the now where the inner peace can be reached. It's that we are really caught up in our heads. And so thinking, 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 and whether it's thinking about today and anticipating, 
with great joy or excitement or not so much. Or perhaps it's uh, some feelings from yesterday and years past even. So we all have lives and we have a past and we have a future. And yet right here in the now is where we can remain present. So the more tumultuous it gets out there, the more I believe it's so important to remain present or to be present. To remain present is a huge goal, a huge challenge. And I think just to be present at any given time is a, a real win. So I want to talk about a couple of problems, uh, challenges that we might have. And one of them in regards to our inner peace is that we get really caught up in our heads. And so that one, I would love to give you a solution. Meanwhile, I am getting a real-time distraction. I have a lovely gentleman, and yes, we're in a home office. I'm in a home office. He's decided he's going to mow the lawn next door, right at the point I'm going to do this live. And once again, the weather. I can't control the weather. But what I can do is I can stay focused and I can stay present where I am. To be able to get out of our heads and get into the moment, you know, that's really, I believe, and uh, I've read and lots of people I think would agree, is that we have our five senses. And that would be able to help us with those five senses. They are all about what's going on in the real world at this moment for us. So, what am I touching? Standing on, sitting on, wherever my body is coming into contact with something, that's about touch. What do I see? Well, that's fairly straightforward. And what do I hear? A lawnmower. It's driving me nuts. Not just your regular one, but a nice big ride em one. And then after that, we go for smell. Well, I kind of like the smell of my office because I like to have essential oils, so it's a little bit lavender. And then taste. And uh, I would have to say that that's probably my tea and my mint tea. If you think about those five sentences or five senses and really come back to them, it will always bring you back to the present moment. So if you're anxious about the future, if your heart may be heavy about the past, you can't really do anything about that right now. Yep, you can set aside some time. Maybe you do need some time to grieve whatever has gone on. And maybe you do need some time to plan and get going on this that you're being anxious about. But right now, being here in the moment, maybe with another person, come back to the moment, know your five senses, and allow yourself to come into your heart. So the challenge is we get caught up in our heads, and so we're not present. And the solution is to bring in our five sen senses. One more area is, you know, in terms of being present, certainly with other people. I think that is the, um, you know, one of the most challenging things that we have because we bring all our patterns from the past, like way back past, way back past. Some people will even say that um, uh, prenatal, is uh, got memories and shapings um, of how we are as we um, add years and to become conscious of what these patterns are is really the clue and the solution because once we're aware we could actually choose to do something different but if we're not aware we don't actually have any choice so I just wanted to um, further on with this idea of we are conditioning to our reactive responses that do come from all of this past patterning. And this past patterning 
can be so entrenched for us that we've already got a response. We already know what we're going to do. It's so automatic and so unconscious. And so I ask you and invite you to garner a little more inner peace by choosing your response. So how do we do that? Well, we're in the moment. Somebody is blah, 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 at us. It's getting us excited. It's getting us maybe upset. But no, we want to observe ourselves and know, oh my, this is getting me upset. Oh, geez, I may be saying something that I will maybe regret later. I may be saying something that uh, is going to be embarrassing. So what I invite you to do is to be able to really stop for a moment, understand that you're excited, and take a breath or three while you pause. There's no rule that says that we have to come back right at somebody and right after they quit talking. In fact, some of us will actually have our answer so ready to go based on these past patterns that we're really, we're really just waiting for a small break in the conversation coming towards us or the monologue coming towards us, however it goes, to be able to then say our point. And so if we are working like that, can almost be guaranteed that it's going to come from a subconscious place. It might not be not pretty, um, but it's not something that you probably would consciously choose to respond with, not to mention the gift of listening. So really the one there is as you're in the moment understand and observe yourself. Are you getting excited? Are you getting angry? Are you getting sad? I think all of these things are feelings that then lead to things we might say. And so when you can feel yourself getting going, that is the perfect time to stop and take a breath or three while you pause while you reflect and just, hmm, I'm not sure about that. One of my favorite ones, when people ask me something and I don't know if I want to do this, go there, be there at that time, my favorite thing to say is, can I get back to you on that? I just need a moment to, to reflect on that, to understand for myself what is it I really want. So. Those are the two for today that I wanted to talk about that are surfing the waves to inner peace and the waves caused by the weather and the weather can be even in our heads in terms of causing our own waves, causing our own inner conflict, whether we're in the future, whether we're in the past, bring it back to now and the way to do that is your five senses. Just stop for a minute. Go through each of your five sentence, senses. The other one is the conditioning of our reactive responses and how to turn those into really responses, responsible answers, not a reaction. Same action over and over again. So for now and for today, for Wednesday, our Wednesday Surf in the Waves, I plan to be able to do this every Wednesday and want to share uh, tips, tricks, and tools as to how to be present. And that is one of the big keys to inner peace. So thanks so much for joining me. I hope you have a tea moment and uh, I hope this has been useful for you. Would love any comments that you have. All good for now. Thank you so very much for joining us or watching it later. If you uh, wanna watch on the replay, uh, we'd love that. So I hope it's been helpful. Thanks so much. Bye for now. Surfing the Waves Wednesday.